Hi there guys, this is Farmer Bob and welcome to another video, uh, map making video for that. <laughs> awesome to be back, I'm so glad for you to, to uh, watch the video and to join. Um, if this is your first time around, hit that subscribe and the like and the bell and also the notifications and do everything man, <laughs> it really helps my channel a lot. But anyway guys, thanks so much for uh, watching uh, to no today's video. I almost said tonight because it's tonight here by us, <laughs> but yes, today's video is going to be about multi-fruit, how to add multi-fruit to your map. Now, like I said uh, in our map making series, because this is where this video is going to land up, is in our map making series, um, like I said many times before, do not start a map without multi-fruit, um, because you're going to have to add the multi-fruit later on. And it is a headache and a nightmare to add it to a map that doesn't have multi-fruit. So, but anyway, I'm going to show you how to do it and what it all entails. It is not a cup of tea. It is very time consuming and a lot of headaches and work to do it. But anyway, I don't want to break your uh, enthusiasm <laughs> so early in the, in the process, but uh, you can decide for yourself is it easier to try and add multi-fruit or to start a new map you know so <laughs> you can weigh up the amount of work yourself and all the headaches that goes with it now to start uh if you've never made maps before don't even attempt it um it's not something for for someone that's starting to make maps uh, to add multi-fruit to a map rather get a map that's already got multi-fruit and build your map on that and to do that, I'm going to quickly show you how simple and easy it is to uh, find a multi-fruit map, a blank map that you can use. Um, I've just typed into Google, download multi-fruit blank map for FS19, and it spews out quite a bit of maps. Now, first of all, on first glance, I'm using this one, the first one that says blank starter map multi-fruit four times version one fs19 i'm using this for the demonstration today um, i won't suggest this map however to use it for you as a map because it does not have seasons with it now to add seasons to the map again it's not that difficult um, it's actually very much easier to add seasons than to add multi-fruit it's actually a, a simple process to add seasons you know to any map the one that you see here from modland.net, FS19 empty map, uh, this one is the one I've built tiny upon. So I would suggest if you want to start a map, use this one. It is a nice standard two times map that is got multi-fruit, it's got mud on it, it's got uh, um, seasons on it. It is full house to start a map on. So that is a very nice map to use. All right. Um, and then I'm using this one because we only want to have a look at the multi-fruit side of it. We're not going to be bothered with that. So I've already downloaded the map. Um, if you click on it, it takes you to uh, modland uh, farming simulator 19 modscom You click on download and it opens another page where you click download the file again and then it will pop it down to your downloads and obviously you know the draw. Right, and then you open the zip file. Create a folder on your desktop for it. I've just called mine desktop blank multifruit and extract everything in there so that we can work from it. Right, so now that we've got that in there, um, today's video, this is obviously going to be probably a video about two or three parts. Otherwise, it's going to be time consumingly long, you know, so it's going to be, I don't want to drag it out, so I'm going to just do a big overview tonight of how it works and how what everything is needed that you need to uh, add multi-fruit to the map so as i say from the start guys do not make maps without multi-fruit anymore because it is pointless because everybody wants a map with multi-fruit so <laughs> and to add it later on it's a it's a as they say in english it's a dog <laughs> to do it but anyways all right so now that you have the blank map uh, extracted you can see first of all um there's a few files that works with the the fruit uh, i'm gonna go just through them should we open find the thing that says new fruits so in your new fruits you'll have the important things is your hut which is the little pictures of all the fruit all right so 
you see in here on this map there's tons of huts um, little pictures and each picture has a small picture and a big one um, uh, the small pictures obviously for the um, for your menu and the big pictures for to display the fruit you know in, in, in different places so that's why there's normally two and you'll see um, the one is small sml the dds and the other one is just normal uh helpful helpful for it you know so there's your icons for the map that's your, what your huds is so that's the first folder that's important the next folder is your foliage now your foliage is the one that does all your uh, lod's now and all your growth stages and also it hosts your xml for the fruit as well as the i3d for the fruit so each and also the distance the distance channels so let me just start let's take one fruit for instance uh, cabbage is right on top so let's just work with cabbage so your i3d is the file that combines all everything together for you so if you open your i3d and you edit it with notepad plus plus if you don't have notepad plus plus just download it. it's a free program it's an awesome little program to edit xml files with all right so in here you will see the the i3d is the file that puts everything together for you uh, the file ids the materials the shape files uh, the scenes the scenes is all the moving parts and all those things all right so that is what the i3d does it's the thing that the game loads uh, in order to add something to the to the game you know and the xml file is basically the file that tells the i3 uh, tells the game where the i3d is first of all where the distance channel is where everything is located and where to find it you know and how to set it up so you'll find in your xml all the data you need to to uh, uh, for every fruit type that that you have you'll have an xml for it as well so there's the foliage layers for it there's the distance map for it um, everything is in there so that is what the xml does so the game loads the xml the xml loads the i3d and that's basically the i3d puts everything together for the game in a package all right then now cabbage uh, you have the distance the, uh, the diffuse the, the icons for all the different growth stages and all the different uh, uh, times of growth for for it so in each one has got two uh, it's got a it's got a dis uh, a diffuse a lod diffuse as well as a normal for it so that's the two things that and you'll see if you open the normal there you can see it's like a it's almost like those old polaroid uh, negatives <laughs> and that's what the normal is and that's just the things that makes your uh, your fruit look 3d in the game because actually they are 2d you know so anyway and then the last thing in the foliage is the distance channels now the distance channels is basically if you zoom out of away from, or if you approach something if it's far it uses a one of the distance channels and as it as you come closer it changes the, the colors of it and the distances for it and then the last thing is the acre fine distance diffuse now the acre fine distance diffuse uh, is used for all the fruits in your whole map so that that one is shared it's a shared file and you'll see you'll find a, 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 a foliage uh, distance diffuse for every fruit type there's cabbage there's carrot this poppy you know so those are the things that you need so like i said it's a it's quite a mouthful but yeah it's not impossible to do and then the last one is your full planes now your full planes once again has got to do uh if if ever you see a plane it means it's a an image of your fruit so in, in uh, to explain it if you look at your trailer if it's filled with fruit or if it's fruit in the trailer it will display your full plane and it's just a layer uh, a small skinny layer of a photo of the of the actual fruit so there it is that's your full plane for cabbage and that is what cabbage will look like so so if your trailer has got cabbage in it it's going to use this full plane to show you this cabbage in the trailer you know so that type of thing um, and then if you close that there's the cabbage normal the specular and the, um, the the images that makes so those three makes cabbage 
you know, looked like it looked in the game, 3D. <laughs> Don't ask me how it works, but anyway, it just works. And then you have the three effects. Now, these are I3Ds, and these things get involved, guys. It is terribly crazy how involved it gets. But anyway, the cutter effect is, for instance, um, your uh, your harvester's um, cutter in the back, where it, uh, not the chopper, sorry, the cutter, your harvester's header uh, that cuts the fruit. So all the effects are in there for that. The effect material holder is, this I3D holds all the materials for all the effects. In other words, if you look at the files, you'll see it, it shows where all the diffusers and distances and gutters are lying, and then you get the materials for each one. There's hops material, and it displays it and it shows it. So every every effect that you want in a machine will have a material connected to that effect, and obviously to make it work. There's spelt, there's pig food, there's wheat, all those things. So there's an effect for, for a material for every effect. So that is the material holder for all the effects um, in in basically for all your fruits and then lime doesn't work on this this is just not part of it and then the full plane material once again if you see plane you know it's got to do with uh, um, with the planes how it displays in your in your stuff you know how it lays down and once again it's got materials connected it and you'll see there's all your um, your diffusers and things set up for every fruit type um, and that's the way it's set up. So there you can see that's uh, a material for uh, carrot. So that's carrot, for instance. So if you look at uh, um, that's the HUD full for carrot. So this is setting up the HUD for it. Uh, full plane. That's the full planes. All right. So then you go down. Let me just see downstairs. Here we go. Scene. There's the movement, moving parts, and all the things set up for the different. Um, different crop and food types all right so that's your once again material holders for that and then the last one there is your full plane no the second last one is the full plane material sorry we've just done that one sorry the particle material holder now the particle material holder once again uh got all the files going your materials loading for every fruit type and then you'll see here at the bottom of your i3d there's a uh, at at your user attributes you'll find uh crush it dust let me just see where it is um there's a place here where it starts showing you all the different um things for let me just find it that's a user attributes pick up at your straw dry grass the pickup that the pickup is for instance for your loading wagon it's your pickups uh, loading lettuce smoke emitter there you go there's your yes the stuff i was looking for like for instance uh, your smoke emitter is um at the back of your um harvester when it spews out the the particles it makes a little smoke there and in the front where it cuts it makes smoke so that's setting that up for you um uh, soil falling emitter there's a chaff emitter and then also uh, wood chips emitter all the, everything is there there's even stuff for the pipes you know when it comes out of the pipe of the of the um, of the harvester you know so that is basically all the different uh, um, movements there's ones for belts there's one for um, I'm just going to see what fruit types have we got. We've got cabbage, we've got carrot, um, and we've got clover. Um, just having onions, lettuce. This is more all root crops that's um, on this map. But anyway, the the process is basically the same. That's why I didn't really see um, too much of the the pipe things, you know, because um, normally you will not put um, cabbage and uh, root crops through a pipe it will go through it will go through your your your, your root crop harvester and then it's just got like a, a belt thing that that 
it falls out on you know it's no, there's no pipe for it anyway that's, a, that's why i couldn't find a pipe <laughs> but anyways so that is all the planes and the particle holders and that is set up in your full planes and that is just to display uh, how the things run so that the hut the foliage and the full planes and I think we're missing one, uh, the distance is in here, sorry, that's the one I was thinking of, is the distance. So that's your four things that you need, is you need the distance, you need the, the huts, and you need the full planes um, to add any fruit to any map. Alright, so that is a quick look on just the, um, I would say, the, the stuff that you need to add the fruit to the map. And how this thing is set up is in your map itself you have your full types your fruit types as well as the map xml which is this one here so in your map xml you will find here it's set up uh, this is where the game pulls in your different uh, holders the issue particle material holder your full plane material holder effect and cutter effect material holder. there it pulls it in there under additional files and then at the bottom you'll normally find is your full types and fruit types and very important this map does not have tip on ground so um, that's not even set up on this map so that's the three things that you need to set up those three xml's you need to have it set up in order for it to work um, so that is what we're going to have a look at in the in the next episode is how to set up all these xml's and how to make the fruit actually work in you, in the game you know um i was thinking of doing only one fruit just to um to sort of um make it easy but i mean this this map has got it doesn't have a lot of multi fruit so i think we we might 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 be might be all right to easily add them all at once you know um because the process is the same um for all of them you know so yeah and i can jump cut and skip a bit you know to make the video a bit bit easier to work with right so that is a mouthful guys so that is your map dxml it puts your um, effect in your material holders all the i3ds for that in place as well as your three xml's the full type fruit types and the density might uh, density height map <laughs> xml all right and then obviously you'll have them in here this map will not have the density map let me just see the density map height it doesn't have that xml but it does have the full type and fruit types we can quickly have a look at that um, where you find these things is in your game install directory if you open that under data and i think under maps is where all the xml's are, are located yes there they are full types fruit type and density map by type so we might as well just copy that one now because it's not in the game so we can add it here for now we're going to play with it later on anyway so i'll just copy it so long all right so um the full types and fruit types how it looks like is if you open that and there is all your full types and fruit types um for for the map all set up here nicely and then at the bottom normally is your categories and where it's used all the different places that's for windrow that's for your combine so all the fruits that you want to work with combine you have to add them here so if you add a multi fruit um, and just a tip guys um, in uh, in the actual game you don't need to have any of these in your full types and fruit types except for the multi fruit that you want to add so all the others you can take out because the game force loads um, all your standard fruits that's in the game like wheat and canola and barley those things you don't need to have it in your um, in your categories you only put the ones that you've added um, you don't put the standard ones uh, just a tip guys so so even up here all this fruit you can take out of your um, full type xml as well as the the other one the um the other the other xml so wheat you don't have to put it in except for if you want to have a custom hud in other words if you've got your own little hud picture you're going to have to have them in here because this full type uh, explains where the hud is located the little pictures for for the fruit and also um, um 
uh, it sets up your your price per liter if you want to twinkle with those things you need to have it in here so basically um you then you are forced to to put them into your xml but anyway i'm just sharing that for interest sake and then obviously at the bottom i'm almost there uh, and the last thing is your sounds your full type sounds you can leave that default file of sound and then uh, depending on the fruit you want the sounds to play uh, set the sounds or leave it default because this is straight goes straight back to the default game all right so that's your full types and then lastly is the fruit types good and in fruit type once again um if there's any fruit here that is standard and you don't want to tweak anything on it you can remove it you don't need it in here like for instance um, the color that is displayed on um, if you go press escape and you bring up the map um, and it shows the fields and each fruit has got its own different color this is where you set up the colors for it uh, on standard default as well as colorblind mode and these colors work in uh, a red green blue alpha code in other words it's got three three uh, digits there's one it's 0 0.6172 and there's two and there's three and then the alpha channel always stays one you don't change the alpha channel so you just search the internet uh, google for rgb colors and then pick a color there that's not in the map or the one that you like for your fruit and um and you can type it in here at this three digits so remember to leave a space and keep the format guys zero point whatever the number is that you get so if the number that you get for for um say a pinkish color that you like has got three numbers because it's a red green blue mixture of uh, three colors red green and blue to mix that color and then the amounts for each gets displayed and the amounts will vary it will differ here from what you see so the amount on google will say say 256 and 327 and 786 will be the three numbers so you just leave the um the format the same so if it's year uh, 2918 for instance or this one 6172 change it to 0 0.0275 if you catch my drift so don't change the format of because this is the way um, giants is set up to work it's got the four digit and a zero point so they've scaled down quite a bit on the the numbering system by the looks of it so just add it there if your number is just 172 you just put it 0 0.0172 and that's it and you put it in there and on the colorblind side do the same and there you are you've changed the color for the for the fruit and it will display differently in the game and then obviously uh, seat usage per square meter um, something interesting guys i don't know if someone was smoking a big cigar or maybe one of those um those uh, uh weed type of things you know those weed cigars <laughs> but if you go down to potatoes i just want to find it here yeah potato look at the look at the seed usage per square on the default game it's 0 0.38 um it is crazy and look at this one uh maize 0 0.92 okay this this has actually definitely been changed by uh Oh, no sorry seed usage is 0 0.4 that is standard 0 0.04 but this is unacceptable uh, i can't see potatoes use that uh, that much fruit in a cedar or a planter or whatever so i by default um, just discovered it the other day why is my potatoes cedars or planters are just using so much seed it is crazy how much seed they use so you just come into your seed usage per square meter and you change that to 0 0.05 or 0 0.06 and it will be fine all right um, that's basically what i do on all my maps from from a few days ago that i've discovered um, that because um, i was playing sunfelt one of my maps and crazy enough i was planting potatoes for the very first time because i never really plant potatoes i normally go with other root crops like uh, carrots and onions and those things you know because they 
load they, they make more money you know but anyway i was testing potatoes because sunfeld is a potato map the actual farm is a potato farm you know <laughs> which this map was built on and uh, designed around and i couldn't figure out why this thing and i ch checked it my seeding uh, machine and i checked that one's xmls and eventually i said no it must be the base game and sure enough the base game has got um 0 0.38 there it is ridiculous anyways wasted a lot of time on that now just for fun change that around okay and then obviously anything that you want to change in the fruit if 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 you want to change make changes to your default fruits just leave them in here do the changes and the rest just delete it out because you don't need that except for if it's fruit that's not in the base game i say that once again very important to remember and once again in your map fruit types at the bottom you'll find your fruit type categories on your grain header your maize header your maize cutter the direct cutter the pickup you just put the fruits that you've added in here don't worry about the default ones um uh, chuck the rest away and then at fruit top converters the same year uh, if you only have um only have one fruit that you add or two or three or four delete the rest add the one that you want and a for away now what the fruit top converter does very simple it takes um if you use the forage harvester that's what this one is about and uh, you cut maize with it it will turn it to chaff it converts the maize that you cut to chaff um if you if you do uh spelt it will make chaff if you do poplar it will make wood chips you know that's just a converter and the same with the uh the mower um it will take grass and it will make grass it will take wheat and it will make straw you know so that's basically you can set up there what you want the converter to do um all right great guys so that is a very quick overview and the first video of a few that's going to follow now um, in order to show you how to add multi-fruit to your map um, and uh, guys strap your seat belt uh, get ready for a rough ride because it is a huge task to add multi-fruit but we're gonna run through it um, and uh, show you the easy way first uh, of just taking for instance this map's multi-fruit and just adding it to your map because in this map it's already all set up here nicely in folders and everything you're just basically going to edit your xml's and you're going to have multi-fruit at your map at your heart's desire you know but if you want to come and try and make uh, um, make your uh, um, uh, under four planes edit your own cutter effect but this thing i've done it before it is crazy difficult because it's so involved to to run around through this i3d um, to try and get everything added in there because it's pipes and it's conveyor belts and it smokes and it is oh it is so difficult you know <laughs> but anyway i don't want to discourage you know the easiest way is to just have something that's already set up like this and just add it via your xmls and whoop they are in the game you know so that is basically i think the approach that we will take and recommend to everyone how to follow and add multi fruit to your map that doesn't have it so the idea will be to pick a base map uh, on google that already have all the multi fruits that you want to add and then just add them via your xmls that we're going to do in the next following videos i'm going to show you how to do that great guys so um once again thank you so so much for watching um, and uh, remember to hit the like remember to subscribe and please guys share my channel with your friends and uh, everyone that loves the game uh, i really appreciate that very much um, thank you so much for watching until next time guys take care man cheers